Welcome to The Architects, a RimWorld fluid ideology series about pursuing the Archonexus. Episode 27, Stack em High. To briefly recap last episode, we have been guarding Tysia here. Tysia is linked to the one sociable prisoner quest, which will be done in one hour. The result of this quest is some components and gold, uh, but it was mostly to test out our wonderful kill box, which could use some improvements, but I'm quite happy with how it performed. Uh, one improvement, or one change rather, uh, was proposed. It was proposed by Alsop. Alsop mentioned that in the future, when I want to disarm the fire, uh, break into a wall because it will be cheaper. Uh, maybe this wall so that we get quick access to it. So that's good to know. Another uh, comment from Vivid Pixels was make sure to convert the prisoners uh, before I enslave them. So let's go do that. My goal of this episode is to try to keep as many of these prisoners alive, which honestly is going to be pretty tricky. Uh, pretty tricky because they are dying very, very, very quickly of, um, of infections. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is setting up a little bit of a hospital bed uh, for the prisoners. Uh, maybe I'll do this. Hmm. I have a lot of wood that I purchased. I think what I'm going to do is build some prisoner hospital beds uh, in this stock room and try to keep the stock room as clean as possible. So trust it. Let's get these constructed. So what I, what I want to do is uh, to surgically remove the limbs that are infected so that uh, those that are uh, currently... going to die of their infections uh, have a chance at survival. So here's Tasia's shuttle and we will set to load Tasia. And then let's say Slave 3, you load her in. So this room doesn't have any weapons, so it's really not uh, much of a risk for uh... Ooh, legendary. I like that. That's going to be really good to do surgeries on. Another masterwork. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's go through these. Uh, you are going to be captured in a better facility. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is moving... Um, I'm going to be moving the sick in here. And then uh, they are going to be next to herbal medicine, so we can tend them a little bit easier. And they're also closer to the nutrient paste dispenser. Um, it might actually even be an ideal spot to keep all the prisoners. Um, but that does mean that the rice that's in there uh, will be, you know, rice used for, um, for prisoner feed. So I'm going to start moving the ones with infections down. And Sven, you are going to keep patching the healthy ones up. So uninfected. So that we limit the infections that we get. It does mean that my uh, colonists are going to have a lot of... Um... Uh, don't do that. My colonists are going to have a lot of work to do. And I kind of feel bad about that, but uh, it's it's rather, in my opinion, unavoidable. And the reward, of course, is that we will get a lot of honor uh, for my efforts. So that's what that's what we're working towards. Uh, Lucid, thank you for that. So now these guys that are infected. Are going to have much better beds um, to aid their recovery. All right, shuttle is loaded. Thank you, slave three. Uh, so another thing that I noticed is this area, even though it's full of weapons, is large enough that it isn't a technically enclosed area, uh, which means that it is not causing slave rebellion. Uh, so that's really good. All right, let's launch. Quest is complete. 
And I'll get my advanced components and my gold. There it is. Uh, the same is true of these weapons here. So, I do have that going for me. Uh, so here's another one that should be uh, carried to the triage hospital, or whatever you want to call it. Maybe I'll add some additional beds. Uh, sorry, Tristan. You are not done for today. And then Ari is on her way out. It is very strange that the Empire sent me a 16-year-old uh, sniper um, to guard the prisoner. It just seems like an odd choice. Okay, there it is. The other thing that I want to make sure is that these guys don't uh, wear the clothing that they're not supposed to wear, but I guess we'll we'll watch for that. So, nobody left in this hospital room. Here, let me unlock that. Um, has an infection. Mikai does have an infection, though. So, Bunny, go capture Mikai. And it's a torso infection, so it's not like one where we can amputate. Doing our best to keep these guys alive. Trying to limit the death. We're gonna have slaves feeding other slaves. It's also well lit, which is good for um, medical tending. The only thing is it's slightly dirty, but luckily it's very large, uh, which uh, spreads out the filth well. All right, so there's two more spaces for uh, infected beds here, and we'll see if we need it. Sven's rest needs are rather critical, but um, I think we're doing okay for now. Slave 3 probably needs to rest and eat. Bunny is resting. There's a lot of these guys here that, um... That need feeding. And Mackay needs tending now. Uh, sorry, Tristan. Okay, we'll keep close eye on these guys. See if any new infections pop up. What if they don't? Uh, we might be able to keep quite a lot. Oh, and a soothe is great. Okay, so now that we have tended the torso infection, let's um, drop the herbal meds and patch up the rest with no meds. I don't care how fast they heal. Heal speed doesn't really matter to me. Zaleb will not, never do doctoring, never mind. Uh, I want to get Stingray fed because malnutrition plus uh, blood loss and infections can be dangerous. Alec got infected as well. A neck infection. Okay. Sven um, or Zaleb, capture Alec. Bring Alec down. And then Budaman got an infection as well, but Budaman's already... Um, Budaman's already uh, in a proper bed, so we'll tend that in a second. Uh, trust and go over and do that. A head infection. It's not like something we can amputate. Not without some consequences. Alright, so there's Alec. Okay, there's the burn, and now no meds. So I'm going to be managing uh, these infections about as attentively as I manage the raids. This is my new, my new hurdle. I'm trying to keep all of them alive. All right, 
this uh, Ambigo needs tending really soon. Some of these up here, I don't think have finished. No, I think we finished. Those are old scars. So yeah, everybody in this room here, no one has an infection. And no one is wounded except for uh, Zigo and Chetta. Chetta got punched once. All right. Have Sven finish that up. So you are all set. Ready for your next dose. Slave 2 is conscious, which is good. It's uh, it's a little tricky to try to keep them fed and tended to uh, due to the labor shortage that I currently am experiencing. So, the more help, the merrier. So I'm sure my people are going to um, have a little bit of mental breaks. Uh, hey, Lucid. Instead of crafting, I'm going to have you clean, trying to keep things tidy. Okay. I think we have everybody 100% tended to, except for these two up here. Um, sorry, Sven. So I'm going to move these two down into the other holding cell uh, once they're patched up. We're going to have a lot of crisis of belief, I am sure. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Alright, Bonnie is moving. Oh, where are you moving them to? Uh, okay, yeah, hospital's fine. They'll heal up a little faster. And then Sven capture Kelly. And now they're 100% tend to do. The only one I don't really need to worry about is uh, Rag. That infection, no infection there. Uh, Mikai does need a bit more tending to. So, with herbal. Okay, so that is the new tending for the infection. And then stop the herbal, tend the rest of these wounds. So I think is that the last wounded? I it might just be. Okay. Uh slave one still needs treatment. Um trust and you can probably manage that. And you're already doing it. Alright. Buddha man needs treatment too. Oh man, this is Gonna be a lot of work. I'm up to the challenge though, trying to keep them all alive. That actually might even be harder than the raid itself. There's also the risk, of course, of um, of things like uh, berserks and and that kind of death, starvation. There. Let's tend to Alec first, and then feed. These guys. So one of the advantages of keeping the slaves in here is they're just closer than nutrient paste. I could. Oh, that was not with meds. That's not good. Oops. Well, can't fix that now. All right. So you should get meds. So everybody in this room, except for Rag, should get herbal meds. Alright, and it looks like we're doing that now. Another thing I could do is just to pretty up the room a little bit. With art. That might reduce the, uh, the rebellion risk. It's not that I'm trying to make them, treat them well. It's that I'm just trying to keep them from punching. Because I don't want to, uh... Don't want to kill anyone that I don't have to kill. But I absolutely will if they have it coming. So 
So another thing I might be able to do is to move the beds once these guys are healed into this hallway so they can feed themselves the nutrient paste meals and just keep the slaves in the hallway. That's a possibility. It really depends on how long it takes for the um, the royal tribute collectors to show up. Also, another thing that I could do is to have um, to have my slaves do some of the work, like doctoring work, keeping them fed uh, once the infections are cleared. So let's take a look. Um, this is a little touch and go, 70% to 61. Uh, but that is on a torso, which can't be amputated. This kidney here is a little touch and go as well, 68 to 63. This right arm is fine. This left right leg, rather, is fine. This torso infection is fine. This neck infection is not so, oh, no, it's fine. And then, yeah, rag's not actually infected. So we'll, we'll just keep, continue to keep a, uh, an eye on that. And then there's, of course, Buddha Man, but Buddha Man is uh, totally in the clear as well. Well, looks like uh, so far so good. Looks like we're keeping them alive. We're getting crisis of belief, but I'm not, um, it's not my focus and I don't really care about trying to, uh, to convert anyone just yet. So then the other thing I'm gonna wanna do uh, before this gets gross is to toss the corpses. So I'm gonna have Lucid who, uh, who's able-bodied and healthy compared to the other slaves, because he was asleep during the rebellion and didn't join, uh, move these corpses to a pile so that I can torch them. Oh yeah, and here we go with the berserks. Uh, I think Bunny immediately just punched him down. No, Cheddar did. Oh, good for you, Cheddar. All right, I got to keep a close eye on these guys up here. Um, Stingray, I'm going to raise up to industrial meds that, uh, yeah. And then Bunny, another thing I want to do is to take you off of doctoring and take all the other doctors off of doctoring so we don't do any poor tending. Seven seconds. Okay, this one doesn't matter because the immunity is already 98%. So I think the only one that's uh, likely to perish is Stingray. If I really cared, I could throw them into a bile sculpt pod or something like that, but I don't. I don't. We'll just uh, try to do our best, and if it's not enough, it's not enough. So Makai is over the infection, so dropping the medicine down to doctor care, no meds. And the same is true of Ambigo. So far, I haven't had to amputate anything, which is kind of nice. I'm really not sure about Stingray, though. And Lobster's neck and neck with that uh, disease, but should be okay. Okay, Alex in the clear. Uh, yeah, Stingray's dead. Um, I think Stingray is also unconscious and I can't sacrifice as a result Oh, you are a teetotaler, too. Oh, good for you. Let's forcibly administer Yayo and see if we can't uh, wake them up. Yep, 
Yeah, it was a bit of a painkiller. Oh, Bunny. Can I borrow you? Or Zleb? I don't care which. This should not be sitting out here. Oh, Tram has converted. So now, enslave. Nope, consciousness is just not high enough. That uh, torso infection is just super fatal. Cause yeah, you can't uh, you can't sacrifice those that are just unconscious, which uh, seems absurd to me. Prisoner, let's release. They're just gonna die. This is their literally last meal. All right. Well, bye bye, Stingray. Uh, so the body stockpile is full. And I'm going to copy it and forbid these. I'll just burn them and we're going to do that again. Let's do it in the middle of this room so we don't have to haul them too far. Trustin's uh, reworking the kill box side doors. Ooh, masterwork. Nice. Looking forward to selling that. All right, bye-bye, Stingray. Yep. Death by infection. Kind of what we thought. So another thing I'm going to ought to do is uh, to smelt down biocoded weapons because a lot or if not all of these sniper rifles are biocoded. Trader Calling uh, wants to drop a... Okay. The rewards are kind of nice, but a climate adjuster with an unknown threat... Eh, I don't know. I think, I think Bunny could probably handle it. So... I'll probably wait till morning and uh, accept it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. You are in the clear. And okay, yeah, all the last infections in the clear. I'm gonna set these up as regular beds. And we'll be good to go. Now, of course, there is the threat of uh, punchings. So we got to keep an eye on that, make sure that they don't stay so berserk. And then another thing that's going to happen is um, when you have a ton of slaves, when you have a really high population of slaves, it dramatically increases the rebellion risk. So that's, uh, that's another thing to consider that I'll have to be thinking about. Because if we're going to enslave all these guys, uh, yeah, we're likely to get rebels and, and given that we'll be outnumbered significantly um we got to be careful about that thanks lucid but nope it's not what i want you to do okay paid climate adjuster let's accept for plasteel and there should be a site to pop up there it is And Bunny is going to go scout it out with Bryce. Take some fine meals and medicine. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and you know, I will also load the rice into the caravan too for Bryce. So here's my plasteel. That's a pretty good reward. 
At least I think. And we are off to go turn off that climate adjuster. So the climate adjuster is only going to nudge the temperature, so I'm not really at the risk of um, losing uh, any crops or anything like that. But it would be good to get rid of it before we go deeper into the winter. So it doesn't uh, doesn't start to stack or anything like that. Okay. We're going to go approach. Should be very, very quick. So, for all of these prisoners, hmm, I think I am going to do the suggestion that I had mentioned to actually keep them in the hallways. Um, because I think that might work to limit the amount of work that I have to do. All right, what do we got here? Unknown, no enemies known at the moment. So, of course, I could always call an Aerodrone Salvo or use a Shock Lance. And... It's probably going to be some sort of ambush. Yep. Ooh, ambushed by quite a lot of enemies. But, uh, no one... It's just a bunch of tribals with, like, basic weapons. So, I think I've got this. Oh boy. And we have a prepare a while raid, a very, very large one uh, back home. All right. Well, that complicates things just a tinge. So there are seven. Ouch. Can you stop hitting me? You, unconscious. Um... How many enemies are there on this map tile now? 56. Okay, that's... That's good. That's that's real good. I do have uh, the ability to call in a trooper squad. And then, of course, I have Berserk. Um, I'm just going to focus on Bunny now. And then I will transition my attention over when the other fight becomes um, more urgent. So if I wear these guys down, like if I spread the damage out and do them all a little wounding, uh, they are not going to be able to chase me nearly as well, and most of them are um, close range or melee. <sighs> okay, uh, taking a look here. I think what I'm going to do is to close this door and uh, get the fire trap ready again. So red carpet here and build that slate door. Um, no luck, I want you to work the red carpet and I'll have to multitask as a, a matter of life or death. All right, so no luck is rebuilding the carpet um, and then I'm going to want to close that other door so that I can just use the, uh, the fire traps, uh, effectively again. Ouch. Oh, that was a bad one. Here. Unconscious for that. 
So Trustin, yep, finishing this slate off, and then we'll do the limestone. This climate adjuster may have need to back up. One of the real dangers about going alone, there we go, is um, if you get knocked out when you're solo, uh, there's really no one that can come to help you. You are very much on your own. Um, Bryce, where'd you go? Where's my donk? There he is. All right, Bryce, I need you to drop the medicine. I need to tend myself. So now that that fight's over, uh, let me focus on this one. Oh, come on. We're gonna need to set this fire, I think, uh, sooner than later. So, Zleb, let's get you in caravan. And grab those Molotovs. Bunny is picking up the meds and will tend self, and then we'll get rid of the climate adjuster and head home. Let's get these limestone walls rebuilt. I didn't really look at the um, the kind of weapons these guys have, but they're tribal, so it's it's actually all brawl. They're hundred percent brawler. So Zleb, load that into caravan and come down here. Okay, the bleeding is halting. Man, that was a bad shot to the hand. Glad it wasn't worse. Now, there's a few um, that I might be able to capture as prisoners. Senra and Kaga. Not that they're... Eh, careful shooter, hard worker. I mean, I don't really like the careful shooter trait. Because it actually lowers your DPS due to the aiming time addition. But not terrible. Probably not someone I'm going to use in combat. So, Zleb, you're going to wait until they threaten to uh, come and attack. And then another thing I want to do is to uh, have the slaves inside because they're not very healthy and they're not likely to move very fast. All right, so no luck. Let's construct this carpet. And Trustin is replacing the last of the barricades. It's faster, generally, to punch a climate adjuster uh, than to shoot it. Eh, we'll shoot it. Oh, so this climate adjuster is actually raising the temperature? Interesting. It's actually kind of nice, temperature-wise. Um, Kaga must have woke up and left. Senra is still unconscious. Okay, so here, tribes people are beginning their assault. All right, let's mass up. I'm very happy that I made this um, this burn trap because it is going to be very necessary. Hmm, slave three, you don't have any shooting skill. Um, do you have a shell? Oh, you have shield butt on. All right, well you come as a physical blocker. I know they're all brawlers. Uh, so I don't really need a shield belt, but if I have him standing in the vanguard, um, it might still help me for him to be able to, um, to knock it. Oh, they're coming to the wrong side. Well, that's going to be a thing. I was pretty sure I holds love to close that door, but I guess not. Okay, caravan is now safe. Uh, that means 
Oh no, area is safe. Okay, so the Senra just uh, regained consciousness and left. So this is what it's like if I'm not using the flame trap. We should be okay. Between the turrets and the shooters, um, we might even add some even more slaves, which would be ridiculous. So one of the reasons to use uranium in the front here is for the added uh, toughness. Alright, so that group's gone. So that these things can take a little bit better. And then the shield belt is really just so that Slave 3 doesn't get hit by friendly fire. Oh my lord, the amount of bodies. So yeah, even this, this defense, uh, even without the fire, which honestly would have totally annihilated these, uh, these raiders anyway. Even without the fire, uh, very, very effective. Uh, I think they're all fleeing now. So let's go ahead and uh, trust in. Break that steel door down. Uh, a few of them have survived. Let me turn these off. I'm going to need to mine up a whole lot of steel to replace them. So, Trustin, you're going to break this, and we are going to put these fires out. Thank you, Slave 3. And we're all set here. So the reason I brought uh, Bryze is so that I could... Oh, Bunny, do you construct? Yeah, you construct. Uh, Bunny, would you be able to... Is there a roof over this? No, no roof. Um, yeah, uh, let's let's break this down so we get more wood. Freebie wood. Uh, Zleb, you can be removed from caravan and put those Molotovs away. And then, uh, yeah, let's put out these fires. I like how this guy is going forwards. Totally the wrong direction. Uh, any of these guys... Savable. Eh, 10 hours. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna leave the one with, uh, without a long... Oh, no. Uh, leave the one without a middle finger. If we put these out quick enough... We don't even have to replace the carpet. So that's sort of the hope. So you, no meds. Where'd the other one go? Oh, Sven's still moving it. Meds. All right. Now, you'll see that the nutrient paste dispenser is orange as it is uh, now a prison barracks. And one of the things I can do um, is to put a temporary little stopgap here so that this is mine and this is theirs. Um, so that that's a way for the prisoners to be tended to. Oh my God, I have so many. Uh, so much tribal weapons to now deal with. Jeez. Who's break risking? Slave two. Get up and feed yourself. Oh, I see. Um, the slaves here are going to be kicked up to simple meals. Uh, so let me let me set that up. New food restrictions. So the reason why, and this should be obvious to probably all of you. The reason why is the nutrient paste is now for prisoners only, meaning that my slaves have nothing to eat otherwise. So the simple meals here, this queue is going to be for veg simple meals and I'll unsuspend it, but I'm going to lower it down to 17. So now they'll be able to eat. Uh, trust it. Let's put this, um, oh, those new prisoners probably don't need to be um, eating amazing foods. So let's go to numbers. Prisoners, convert, convert, 
tram here uh, needs to be enslaved. And then nutrient paste. All right, and Trustin's gonna go build that half wall so that we actually have a dining room to ourselves. Okay, so this is our dining room. And this is theirs. Great. Another thing that I'm going to need to do is to uh, set up some mining again. Because all those turrets, all that gunfire, uh, it's going to be a lot. A lot of... Uh... Oh, speaking of steel. A lot of steel. Uh, Sven, would you be so kind as to check in? I'm not really sure what I'm looking to buy, but... Oh man, I am going to need so many slave clothing. Unless a caravan comes by soon going to be uh, somewhat penalizing, I think. I think we graduated away from the authority caps, so I can ditch those. And is there anything I want to buy off them? I guess that's the greater question. Oh, let's sell the Luciferium, too. I don't really need to keep that. Um, Plasteel and steel. Okay, they. I don't have enough uh, silver to buy the plaz deal, but I do intend to. So one of the things I could do is to uninstall all the art that I've made so far and sell that because that was really, it was always for sale. It was always um, a business venture. So I'm gonna get that uninstalled and buy as much as I can. Because Plasteel is uh, honestly our lifeblood when it comes to improving ourselves and making ourselves stronger. Gotta get the Plasteel for the Bionics. So what I want to eventually do is to have all of the beds for the prisoners be in this hallway so that I don't have to feed them. They feed themselves. And then my work is just uh, converting and enslaving. All right, that's a lot of art. And I wouldn't mind buying, well, no, we have about 300 gold. That's an okay amount. I'm just making sure that I'm not passing up on anything uh, that I think would be important. I wish that uh, Trustin had more time to do crafting. Okay, that is all that I can afford. I could sell the pemmican too. Oh, we can buy all of it then. Terrific. So, we have purchased 418 plasteel, 744 steel. And this is where I'm going to leave off. Thank you for tuning in to The Architects, episode 27, Stack Em High. If you have any feedback or questions for me, please let me know in the comments below. Or if you'd like to chat with me on Discord, join Discord. The link can be found in the description or at Rodamont.com. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you for supporting the channel. I'll catch you next episode. Stay safe out there, architects.